And then as what one could be able to just one a guru, let me call it a Okay, 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 class. Once again, uh, I will come ask Emma. Emma, can you give us the opening prayer and we start? Emma. Yeah. Emma. Hello, yes, Emma. Yes, teacher. Yes, give us the prayer and we start. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Son of God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion, in indestructible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in these first moments we may not despair nor become despondent. But with great confidence, submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Emma, for that prayer. Thank you, Emma, for the prayer. Okay. So, class, uh, today uh, we are going to have a look at. Uh, uh, we're going to have a look at uh, our literacy to one, and uh, those are our sponsors. The sponsors we have got ICT Teachers Association of Uganda, that is IETAL, and Christian Schools Owners Association, uh, uh, together, together to make sure we have our lessons of today. Today I'm going to be a little bit quick, a little bit quick. A little bit quick uh, as uh, uh, I'm going not uh, to allow me to uh, take you over through together. Uh, class, uh, let's go to what we are supposed to look at today. Uh, today, mainly, uh, we are looking at the external parts of a fish together. Uh, when you look at the fish, it has gotten uh, other parts together. And uh, I'm going to give you a chance. Uh, we name some of the parts I've named, there are only four, but it has gotten very many parts. So I request you, uh, you raise up your hand. If you can name any part of the fish you see on the diagram, and then you let me know. Teacher, add this one. I'm not seeing it there. Then I will be in position to add it there. Or you can put your answer in the chat. I will be able to know. Okay. In our sub, in our chat, we have put our link which you can follow and uh, join our WhatsApp group. Fidel. Yes, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Can you go on and tell me? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Which part should I add on? Part D. Part D. What's name is given? Part D. Tell you. What? Tail. Part D is the tail. Okay. Uh, Fidel is telling me, teacher, part D is the tail. Thank you, Fidel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mwonge Jude. Hello, Chadida. Yes. Oh, 
was that, was that that I've missed here? Okay, was it Fidel? Yes. Uh -huh. it's what? Part, part D. Part D is what? Tail. Part D is the tail. Okay, good, thank you. I'm not gonna write them there, but we shall write them later. Thank you, thank you, it's correct, Fidel. Let me hear from Mwonge Jude. Mwonge Jude, are you on? Mwonge Jude, let me give a chance to Hannah. Hannah. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Tell me which part should I talk about now? Uh -huh. The one that you know. Part, part L. Part L, what's the name is given to part L? Uh -huh. The wing. It's the what? The wing. It's the wing. Okay. We shall see. Thank you, Hannah. If it's the wing, that's one. Brian Adrian. Brian. Brian Adrian, can you unmute yes, yourself? Yes. Yes, which part should I put there that is not there? You can tell me the part which is not there, but you know. It's N. N, what name is going to part N? Scale. Oh, but do you see this N? N is beginning from this line. Do you see that line? Yes. Uh, N is this line here. N is this part. Do you know it? Uh, uh, but I... Uh, but uh, mm -mm. what should I do? Well, you wanted me with set scales, okay? Mm. Let's add the scales there, isn't it? Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I spell are it. The are they the scales? Yeah, yes. of course. Spell it. S. S. C. C A A L L E E S. The word is scales. Okay, okay. So my friend is telling me, teacher, how to name the scales. Let me name it here, and uh, I'll call it which part, which part. Uh, it is the scale, and according to the scale, okay, let me put it here, and I will name it part A. I will I'm, name I'm, it part I'm, A, I'm, so I'm, you don't have. Yeah. Yes, mute yourself, my boy. Okay, that's part marked A, and uh, he has told me, teacher, uh, that one is the scale okay thank you thank you thank you you are right right to the scale to so the scale okay let me go on darius 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 are you on
Okay, class, your teacher is a bit off, but uh, I know within a short period of time, is going to be back. It could be the network problem. It could be the network problem, but at end time, T, let us keep waiting for him for a while as he's coming back. Uh, we know with the network, we can't run out of it. So as soon as he joins back, we shall be able, okay, he's here. Mr. Adidas, you are ready to go. Oops. Okay. Mr. Okay. okay. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Uh, it seems the problem is with internet. Uh, it's a little bit down. But let me hope we shall continue. So I'd given a chance to, to someone called Matthew. I don't know whether Matthew came in. I don't know whether it was Shina or to, let me give a chance to Mile. Mile, Mile, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Hello, Mile. Who is this one? Ethan? Yes, Ethan. teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Go on, go on, go on, please. Uh huh. What? Or is the gill cover? What? Or is the gill cover? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ethan. Ethan You're is welcome, saying, teacher. teacher. Yeah. Part four is the gill cover. Thank you, Nancha. Nancha, how are you? Nancha? Yes. Uh -huh. Which part do you want to give us? Wing. Wing. Which part is the wing? Wing. Which one is the wing? Nancha? Nancha? Oh, seems I've lost my Nancha. Nancha was doing teacher. There is a part called the wing. Oh, okay. Shanita? Shanita? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes, which part do you want to give us? Part D. Part D. What name is given to part D? Uh huh. Yeah. Patel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Already mentioned. Mugalu Matthew. Yes, Mugalu please, Matthew. teacher. Yes, please. Tell yes. me. Tell me which part do you want me to add? Yeah. The wing. The wing. Which why is the wing? Oh. Matthew, Matthew's team teacher, there is the wing. Okay. Class, uh, let me try to add a few parts here as we all watch and see. Uh, there is a part here. Please you to tell me, teacher. This one is the nose. Sorry, the, the ear, the eye, together. Even yes, I've got, uh, even uh, we have this part here, and that is the mouth. Okay, then there is something here. Uh, how can I put it here? There is a small part that is always here, and we can name it as the nostril. This is the nostril. You see, uh huh. Someone said the gill cover. There's also this part here. I seeing it. Uh, that is the dosophene and the lateral line. Are together. Okay. I, I want to put the answers, but uh, 
Okay, let me see how best I will work it out. Let me see how best I will work it out. But uh, that's how it is. That's how it is, class. So uh, when you look at these parts of the fish we have given, uh, we can go on. We can go on and uh, see. Okay. Uh, part N. What's the part N? I told you we have got part N. Part N is called the lateral line. It's called the lateral line. It's a line uh, moving through uh, those parts, and uh, its name is called the, the, the lateral line. All together. So we cannot fail to, to name part N as the lateral line All together. Then uh, we have said uh, this one, uh, the part which is there uh, is the, the one which is here. Uh, it is called the eye. The fish also has the eye. The fish also has the eye All together. So it also sees uh, when it is in water uh, using the eye All together. Okay, that's a part there also. We can go on. I've told you uh, there is a part here and uh, this part uh, we're going to name and call it, uh, we're going to name and we shall call it, uh, this part is called nostril. It's called nostril. Yes, we won't spell them together. Uh, the part here is called the nostril, okay? Let me give it a chance to someone. What name is the given to the part next? See, okay, already I've heard from you. Uh, let me give a chance to Loba, Fernando, eh? yeah. Fernando, how are you? Fernando? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Fernando, how are you? I'm yeah, fine. Is this one here. Which one? Which one, teacher? Fernando. Yes, this teacher. One here. Do you see my do you see my point on your screen? Yes. yes. Okay, which part is this one here where my pointer is? Where I put the mouse. arrow? It's called what? Mouse. Okay, can you spell the word mouth? Mousey. Uh -huh. Can you spell the word mouth? Penan. Fernando, hello, seems my Fernando is off, my Fernando has feared me, so Fernando has told us the teacher that part is called mouth, yes, it's right, the part is called mouth, okay, uh, let me hope you can see them uh, very well together, so this part of the fish is called mouth. Mm -hmm. You see, so we have answered part N was the lateral line, part E, this one was the eye, uh, this one was the nostril, and this one is called the mouth. Let's go to part O. What name is given to part O? Who can tell me what is part O? It was already said by someone. Winfred. Okay. Uh, Winfred? Yes. How are you? Yes, Winfred, are you on? Winfred? Yeah. 
The network is not good. Wilfred. Oh, okay. Let me mute these ones out. Let me mute these ones here. Uh, Wilfred. But I can hear you. Yes, teacher. Yeah. But for my cannot hear you. How are you? Oh, my God. Okay. Seems Winfred had a problem. Let me, Ethan. Yes, teacher. How are you? Fine. Okay, which part are you giving us here? It is the gill cover. Okay, it's the gill cover. That's from Ethan. Ethan is saying, Ethan is saying uh, the answer is the gill cover. Okay, Ethan which is saying, teacher, this is the gill cover. Thank you, Ethan, for your answer. And your answer is right. So part O is the gill cover. Thank you, Ethan. Okay, uh, Samantha. Samantha, are you on? Yes, teacher. Okay, which part do you know there on the fish that you are seeing on your screen? On what? Which part are you seeing on the screen of the of the which part of the fish you know? Tell me. The nostril. You know the nostril? Yes. Tell us the one we have we have gotten. We have a part here. Part A is not answered. Part L is not answered. Uh, part D is not answered also. And even part here is not. So tell us the part that you know. Samantha. I'm going to tell you A. A, what's name is given to part A, huh? Go ahead. The scales. Yeah, part A is the scales. Thank you, thank you very much, Samantha. Okay, Samantha say, teacher, uh, part A, you write there, part A, they are the scales. Okay, when the Samantha cheated me, was supposed to have spelled the word scales, but she ran away. Thank you, Samantha. Next time, I will have it. Such a thing, teacher, that part is the scale. Okay, let's go to part D. What name is given to part D? What is part D? Huh? Class, what is part D? Okay. Mm -hmm. What is part D? I see people putting up the hand. Uh, Trinity. Trinity, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. Okay, are you giving us part D? You know part D? Uh huh. And tell us what is part D. Uh huh. Tail. The tail. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can meet yourself now. Okay. Uh, part D. It has gotten very many names. Uh, we can call part D the tail fin. Uh, we can call it the tail fin. Uh, however, when you go in some books. It is also called the codofin. It's called the codofin. It's the codofin. Coda, coda. Fin. Uh, uh, so uh, in some books, they can say tail. However, in some books, they can say uh, it is the uh, codofin. It's the codo, it's the codofin. Like that. Okay, that is in some books together. So you can either call it the, the tail fin or we can call it uh, the codor fin. That's part uh, D, that's part D, as you can see there on our diagram. Okay, it can be called the tail fin 
which can be called the codo fin. Okay. 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 Let's go on. Uh, let me give a chance to Babiri and Nakato. Babiri and Nakato, how are you? Uh -huh. Which part are you giving are me? Fine. So, which part are you giving me? Part Hello, L. Part L, yeah. What name is given to Part L? Part L. N? Yes. Uh huh. What's the name? <laughs> Palsy. Sorry? Palsy. 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 Hell, this one. Palsy. Oh, I know what Baby you want to say. We shall look at it. So, Baby I uh, want to tell us that there is what you call the pelvic fin. Together, there is what you call uh, the pelvic fin. Okay? Uh, okay, 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 okay. The pelvic fin, okay. The pelvic fin, that's what we really wanted to tell us. Teacher is what you call the pelvic fin, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's write it here and spot L that he, the video, I was trying hard to spell the word pelvic fin. Let me write it here down, part L. Okay, it's the pelvic fin. Uh, we call it the pelvic. Okay, the pelvic fin. Uh, sometimes you have got another fin here, uh, which is slightly here, and uh, it can be called the ventral fin. Okay, but you want to use this one as the pelvic fin. Then you have got the one which is on top here. I need someone to give us the answer if you are there. JR. JR. Yes, teacher. Junior. How are you? I have this part here. Yes. Do you know this part? I think the part which is here. Yes. Uh -huh. What name is given to that part? Oh, JR is there. So you can send me some answers in the chats and tell me, teacher, according to what I know. Okay. Okay, let me, let me do this here. Okay. So class, uh, that's what we can go with. Uh, there are very many, but our level, uh, we shall handle a few. We shall handle uh, a few of them. So uh, the one which is here, uh, on top, the one which is here on top, uh, its answer is called the dorsal fin. It's called the dorsal fin. So this is the dorsal fin. Uh -huh. That's the dorsal fin. Uh -huh. I see someone is sending me the answers in the charts. I will love them. I will like, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now we have gotten two uh which are remaining here uh we have gotten two which are remaining here uh okay uh we are uh -huh. we are remaining with a few uh which are there uh remaining with a few which are here the first one which is here okay uh let me first do this let me first do this here okay let me first do this. Okay, and uh, I name this part here. There is a part which is here, here. And uh, there is another part. So this part here uh, is called, uh, is mainly called the pectoral fin. This one is the pectoral fin. And even we have got the one which is here. Let me see how best I will write the answers there so that we can uh, uh, get to understand them. So uh, those are the sum of the parts of the fish. Uh, we cannot finish everything, but uh, we're just having a look at a few of them. So 
uh, we have looked at the uh, pelvic fin and the petro fin. Okay, so my friend here, uh, the one which is here, the one which is here down here is what we call the pelvic fin, and the one which is here is called the pectoral fin. Let me hope you are following. Uh, these fins seem to be confusing, but we have to understand them. This one is called the pectoral fin. It's called the pectoral fin, and the one which is down is called the, the pelvic fin. Then we have another one here, uh, this one which is at the back, the one which is at the back, it can be called the ventral fin, or it can be called the anophin, from the word anus. Mm, it can be called the eno, anophin. You can call it like that, anophin. Okay, or it can be called the ventral fin. So uh, let me, let me, let me, let me uh, make sure that we go through all of them together so that we can uh, do our best because uh, that's the main important issue of today. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see people in the chats. Uh, okay. Hannah is saying we can't see your screen. Teacher did us. Okay. Hannah. Oh. Okay. Okay, so uh, when you see here, uh, we have, and we read together, but let me go. Uh, part D, it is called the tail, or you can call it the tail of fin, or it can be called the cord of fin, as I've written like that. Then there is this part here, it is called the dozo, the dozo fin. All together. So uh, this tail of fin, uh, its main work is to help the fish uh, to move, to make corners and to swim when it is in war water. So this tail of fin, it helps the fish to, to show its direction, to make corners, uh, to change. It uses to easily swim, is what we call the tail of fin. Uh, when you look at this dose of fin, the dose of fin, its main work is for protection. When you want to touch the fish, it has got some hooks, some horns, some uh, call them thorns, hooks, uh, which will use it to protect itself. They are very strong and sharp. Now together, okay, okay. Uh, then uh, we have got also the lateral line. It is a line which is moving from here up to the back. Uh, the lateral line uh, senses danger. It senses danger. It senses what? Danger. It can sense danger easily. Uh, it can detect. When you go to catch it and you touch in water, it will feel using this line called the lateral line. Okay. Uh, then uh, this one is the eye. Of course, you all know that the eye is for seeing. The eye is for seeing. So uh, it can easily see uh, using uh, the, the eye. Okay, then uh, we have got a part here. It is always circular. Uh, it is a small uh, hole which is placed there and it is called the nostril. So this nostril, uh, it helps the fish to smell food. So the nostril is for smelling food as in smelling. How does it know that I should move to this place and smell some food? It uses the nostril. Then uh, we have gotten the, the mouth. The mouth, of course, is for eating food. Then we have got the gill covers. As you see the word gill covers, it means that they cover the gills. Inside here, they are gills. So the gill cover covers the gills together. Uh, you can go ahead and say uh, the gills are used for breathing. So when the fish is in water, it uses the gills for breathing. It breathes using uh, gills. And then 
Uh, we have got the pectoral fin, the pectoral fin and the pelvic fin. Uh, these two, when they are combined together, they help the fish uh, to slow down when it is moving and it is in water, uh, it will slow down. How will it slow down? Uh, when it is moving, traveling at a, at a, at a higher speed, then it won't slow down. For blacking, uh, the act as blacks, that's the pectoral and the pelvic what? Uh, fin uh, together. Okay, so uh, let's go on, let's go on. Uh, then the scales, uh, these scales, of course, they are for protection. They protect the fish in case it finds uh, something in water, uh, which may scratch them like trees, like stones. So those scales prevent them from damage, from external damage. Then the anophin or the ventral fin, uh, that's where uh, it passes out its seal, wastes together. So class, uh, that's what I can explain about the fish. Uh, since it is new to us, uh, we shall be uh, going through it uh, one by one. We shall be going through it uh, one by one uh, on a, a, a daily on a daily basis, such that uh, we are able to understand them uh, together. So I've said uh, the one which is here, uh, it is called uh, the lateral line and the use of the lateral line, it helps you to sense danger. That's the most important part called the lateral line. So in the next step, uh, okay, the next step, uh, okay, in the next step, uh, we are going to see, uh, we are going to see uh, uses of each part, but I think I've tried to explain them. I've told you the lateral line is used for sensing. It senses using the lateral line. It senses using the lateral line. When you touch in water, it feels you. Oh, someone is coming to catch me, then it will automatically run away. What does it use to run away? Uh, it will use the, 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 this fin we talked about here, uh, which it uses, uh, the tail of fin, which uses it for making corner, for changing direction and others. Then we have got the anofin and others, as you can see. Then here uh, we have said, uh, the scales uh, uh, help it to protect it in case it has gotten a problem. Let me check in the chats. Okay, uh, since there is no one, uh, I would like to continue there uh, with the questions if they are there. But if they are not there, uh, then uh, I will have to go <clears throat> next. Now, uh, these are the some of the uses of the fish uh, of the parts of the fish as I had earlier explained. I said the dosofin protects the fish uh, from enemies, eh? from enemies, eh? from enemies. It protects the fish from uh, enemies. That's the, the, that's the dozo, the dosofin. Okay, uh, okay, 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 okay. It protects the fish uh, from the enemies. So when the enemies come, uh, enemies of fish, when they come, uh, they are easily protected. It has the dose of the dose of it has got some hooks, I can call them thorns, uh, which it uses to spark up. And uh, it hits you. Okay. Okay. Uh, then uh, when you look at the eyes, the eyes mainly are used for seeing and the gear cover uh, uses, uh, the gear cover so it protects the gears and we have said the gears are used for breathing altogether. You don't have to put, you don't have to forget that. In fact, let me add it here so that we can see it very well. And we say that, uh, uh, huh, let it be number four, okay? Well, let's write it here as a note. The gears are used for breathing out together. Because someone may ask you which part of the fish does it use for breathing? 
then we shall also say the gills are used for breathing. Which part protects the gill cover? Then, sorry, which part protects the gills? Then all of us, we shall say uh, the, the what? The gill cover. The tail of fin carries the fin turn in different dire directions. I've talked about that. I will not talk about it once again. Dose fin, as you can see uh, in my diagram uh, here, uh, the dose of fin now, uh, because they can do their diagrams differently. This one is the dose of fin. This one is the tail of fin. This one is the annual fin. This one is the pectro, sorry, the pelvic fin. This is the pectro fin. And these ones are together. So that's how they're used for protection. They protect the body of the fish. The nutrients are for smelling, for smelling food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then the mouth, simple for eating. Then the latter line, you have said is for detecting sound waves or what we can say. Danger. The pectoral and the pelvic fins, I said, they are used for blacking. Okay. Uh, for slowing. Okay. I have to change this one here. Uh, it is used for blacking. No? No? For blacking. Huh? For slowing down, for slowing down the speed, okay. For slowing speed and going up and downwards in water, it uses those two fins. So finally, uh, I had written here that the gears are for uh, breathing. So uh, mainly, uh, I can go back and I take away here this one off. So since I've written it here, I thought I didn't write it. So by there, the gills are used for breathing. So when they ask you which part of the fish uses it for breathing, then we shall say uh, the gills, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. when you look here, okay. So uh, when you look here, uh, according to what you see in my in my diagram, I've drawn very many of them. Why have I drawn them? I wanted to show you. Uh, they have got many of the fins. This is a fin here. You can see the tail of fin and other fins. So all these fins, their main work is to enable the fish to easily move in what in water, as you can see. This one is having the fin here. You can see all the fins. These are the fins you have talked about. So the fins help them to easily stay in what? Uh, in water. Okay. Yeah. Some people are saying, teacher, okay. I can see that I'm very fast to uh, before we go to our next tea. But uh, we have said. Uh, the fish uh, has gotten a part called uh, pectoral fin. It has got the, the part called, uh, sorry, we have the part called the dozo fin. What's the use of the dozo fin? When you go in water and you, you catch that fish with your free hands, it has some hooks, it will sparkle them or it will bring them and hit you in the hands. They are found, this is the part called the dose of what? The dose of a piece in it. Okay. And then, uh, we have gotten this one. It's the eye, as you can see. Of course, the eyes are for seeing. How about the mouth? The mouth is for its tail. What is the use of this tail? To make corners. Uh -huh. It helps the tail fit to turn to different So when it is is in water, it is able to change the direction 
it can easily move from one place Hello, to Mr. another. Didas. Hello, Mr. Didas. Hello, Mr. Didas. Okay, members and network, but let us keep on. I know in a few minutes is joining us back. So let us keep Hello. on. Are you on now, Mr. Didas? Yeah, it seems the network is disturbing me. Correct, your network looks to be breaking. Am I okay now? You are okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so class, I was telling you uh, that uh, the eyes are used for seeing uh, the gear cover to the gears, which means that inside, that inside the gear cover, we shall find there the gears. And the gills are used for breathing. I think I talked about that. I've said the tail fin helps the fish to turn to different directions. Together, it is able to move from one direction to another, one direction to another. It can be moving this way, then the changes goes this side, then changes goes this side because it is using the tail. Together, or what we said as the uh, the tail uh, fin. Okay, so let's go next. The scales. We say the scales are used to protect the what? Uh -huh. The scales are used for protection. It is able to protect it. If it's moving in water, it will find a lot of, uh, it will find uh, a lot of things the trees are there, the stones are there. So it protects itself using the scales. The nostrils, I said the small trees are for smelling food. The nostrils are for smelling food. Then we have got the mouth. The mouth is for eating food. And I said earlier that the lateral line detects the sound waves. The sound waves, how does it detect the sound waves? When you are in, when the fish is in water, and something comes in water, it is able to feel hey, something is coming using its lateral line. And looked at the lateral line, and I said, it's a lateral line, it is a line here. It is this line which is moving from here, 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 up to here. That's called the lateral line. Are we together? Okay. So I request after my lesson, I'm going to send the work in Google Classroom, but take time and get some sparings. Yes, because sparings, they are very new to us, and due to time, we cannot spare all of them, but we shall be keeping on sparing them next week from Monday. By the time we start, uh, uh, we shall be uh, to be able to know. Then the gears, we have said they are used for breathing. I went ahead and said that when you look at my diagram here, it is having very many fish with a lot of fins. All these fins, help the fish, the fish uh, helps, uh, the fins help a fish to swim in water altogether. Okay, so uh, let me hope that now we are at stake. Okay, class, uh, before that, let me give a chance to a few members uh, before you copy my, 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 my presentation. Uh, leave me a chance to members. I request we first put down our hands so that I know that the ones I'm going to ask now, they want to participate on this one because some people are still uh, on the first question I asked at first. So, okay, let me be here and I see. Let's first lower our hands so that I can know uh, who wants to say what. There's a question I want to ask. Let's first put our hands down and we see. There are some people who put up the hands at the beginning and even up to now, they are still putting up their hands. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Okay, fine. Now the question I'm asking, can you give me types of fish? Can you give me some types of fish that you know? And if it is possible, it is easy for you to tell me. Tell me the type of fish in English, then you go ahead and tell us in your local language. If you look at sense, tell us. A teacher, for me, I'm in Kasese. The type of fish I know it is this one, and its name here is called this. I would like to have that. Let me begin with Aida. Aida, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, one type of fish. Where are you from? From Mbara. Mbara. So tell us one type of fish and how it is called in your local language. Okay. Okay. Aida. Aida. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me one type of fish that you know. Oh, Aida has muted herself. Let me check my friend here. He's called Kiden Sala. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, 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 are you there? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Where are you? We are from Sudan. From Sudan? Yes, yes. Oh. South Sudan. Okay. okay, tell me one type of fish, uh -huh. and how it is called in your local language. Mukene. Mukene. Is Mukene in South Sudan? Yes. Oh my God. Mr. Mike, have you heard that? Hey, Indeed, I'm very that. surprised that we have yeah, some people from Southern Sudan. Yes, people from Southern, they have told us they have a type of fish called Mukene. Thank you, Kiden Sara. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You tell me where you are from and you tell us one type of fish. So they are told they have a fish called Mukene in the South Sudan, you see? Okay. Okay, Damal, Damali, 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 are you on? Hello, Damali Abo. Oh, unmute yourself. No, 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 no. Okay, let me give a chance to uh, someone is in taking you know, F56. Hello. Hello. Oh, what's the what could be the problem? People are not unmuting themselves. Yes, Damali, how are you? Again, she has muted herself. Damali, can I unmute yourself? Oh no, it seems Damali is unable and time is running very fast. Okay, uh, let me check. Uh -huh. Then, uh, no, 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 no. okay, Ariana uh, is called Ariana Roxana. Ariana, how are you? Teacher. Yes, please. How are you? Teacher. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Teacher. Okay, so I'm fine. Where are you? Where are you from? I am from. You are from where? I am. I am. I am from Rwanda, but I live in Uganda. You are in Uganda, eh? Yes. So tell me one type of fish, uh huh? I know silver fish. And what is silver fish in 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 Rwanda now, uh huh? Silver fish in. Nyaranda is um my daddy never told me that. Eh, no, they never told you that one. And what is it? Do you know Uganda? I know Uganda. So what's what's silver fish in Uganda? Mukene. Oh, it seems people know Mukene here. Thank you, Ariana Roxana. Okay, 
Mugalu, Mugalu Matthew. Mugalu Matthew, are you on? One. Nailo Pad. Nailo Pad. What's Nailo Pad? Where are you? Where are you? In which district are you? Are you in Kampala, Jinja? Where are you? Where, where are you? Wakiso district. Okay, what's Nairo Patch now in your local language? Emputa. Emputa. Oh, Matthew said Nairo Patch is Emputa. Thank you, Matthew. Okay, there is someone called the Anne Rita. Rita, how are you? Rita. Tilapia. Filapia. Tilapia, Rita. Tilapia. Rita, where are you? Where are you, Tilapia, Rita? Kirad. Kirad district. District are you? Kirad district. So what is Tilapia in local language? Oh, Rita, Rita, don't run away. Rita, unmute yourself. Yes. What is it? What is Tilapia in local language? Engege. Engege. Okay. Engege. So the answers are very many. Uh, Prince Tilapia, someone teacher for us. We don't have fish at home. That is from my friend who is saying teacher for us. We don't have fish. Uh, that's Lina. is saying we don't have fish in Kakova City. Where is Kakova City? I don't know Kakova City. Okay, maybe Mr. Mike may be knowing Kakova City. Let's go, let's go. So I've given some examples here. Uh, we have said Tilapia is a Ngege, uh, Nilo Patch is a Mputa. We have got catfish. Catfish is what in Uganda? Mm? We have got silverfish, Mukene. We have got langfish, which is called the Mamba. And even we have got a mudfish, which is called the Nsonzi. Or they told me it can be called the Nsonzi. Uh, another one said it can be called the uh, uh, Nsimachi. Yeah, something. Of, then someone said Cha, there is a, a Mare. Mare, I think that's the catfish. But those are the some examples of fish we have looked at. Tilapia, I've said it is called the Ngege. Uh, Nilo patch, it is called the Imputa. And catfish is called, uh, we have got silver fish, which is Mukene. And we have got lung fish, mamba, and mud fish is the, 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 the real sons. Someone saying there is a fish called the crab. Okay, let's go. So when you look at my pictures, that's how a, a denial of peach, the, sorry, the denial of patch looks like or what you call the imputa. Uh, the mud fish is there. That's the insonzi. And lastly, here you can see that this is the mamba the one they cut and fry in the evening and we enjoy right together. So, okay. So these are the, some of the sources, sorry, some of the functions of, of fish to people right together. Okay. Uh, let me give a chance to some two members to tell us. Uh, I know already they have read my answers, but let me go back here and you tell me some of the uses of fish to people. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me give a chance to who, okay, uh, we heard from Damali, uh, came Akoro, Akoro Elizabeth, Akoro Elizabeth Nava. Are you on? Yes. Okay, tell me what, how, how, how useful are fish to people? How do we use fish for? Why do we need fish, Akoro? In some fish, we can eat them. Some fish have proteins. Can eat them, good. Some proteins. Thank you, good, Akor Elizabeth. Okay, let me hear from Samari Chitata. Samari Chitata, go on. Samari, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> tell me, have you ever seen fish? Yes. Uh -huh. What is it for? I use it to I deep fry it. Deep fry it. Yes. What happens after deep frying it? 
Um, then I eat it. Then you eat it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we eat them. There is someone called Lisa. Lisa, how are you? Lisa, unmute yourself. Lisa. Lisa Kasa. Are you Lisa Kasa? What's your name? Oh, so uh, let's go and look at some of the uses of fish because they have to, they are sources of proteins when yes, you eat teacher. them. How are you, Lisa? Fine. Okay, what do we use fish for? Uh -huh. We we use fish for we use fish for we use fish for selling for selling we sell them and get money isn't it yes so Lisa are you seeing on your screen yes okay can you read for me sentence number one and number two and number three uh huh Fish, fish are sources of protein. Good. Shells Number two. Are used to make bags and belts. Good. Fish helps to control mosquito larvae. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can meet your soul. Manufacture of animal feed. Good, stop there, Lisa. Bye. Okay, so uh, that was my friend Lisa and others. So uh, the scales we make some uh, from the scale from the um, the belt from the fish scales. We can make uh, as you can see here. Uh, this is a bag made from uh, the scales of fish. Then we sell them to get money. Uh, you can see here uh, the. The father, this is the, this is the father of Walusimbi. And uh, you see, this is Fidel. He has come to buy some fish. And uh, uh, here is uh, the grandfather of our call is looking. So we serve them to get some money altogether. Thank you. Thank you, my class. Uh, people get jobs, those ones who, who sells fish. A, a, a person who sells fish is called a fishing monger altogether. Yes, so uh, that's all we had. Okay, I, I wanted to have a look at uh, if Mr. Michael can give me at least six minutes. We go through this and uh, we shall end there. Mr. Michael, am I permitted? Yes, being this is our last lesson, you can add in those six minutes and then you finish up. Okay, thank you. So class, uh, we are going to look at fish preservation. What is fish, pre fish preservation? When we talk about fish preservation, uh, we talk about ways of keeping food or fish for a long time without getting bad. How can we keep our fish for a long time without uh, getting but how together? That's what we call the term fish preservation. When we get our fish, we keep it for a long period of time without getting bad, without getting spoiled, without it uh, 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 getting rotten. That's what we call fish preservation. Now, I would like to ask you people, at least give me one way how we can keep our fish for a longer time. How can I keep my fish last for a week or two or three without getting bad? See, I see the hands are very many, but let me pick here. Nicole. Yes, teacher. Nicole. Okay, tell Nicole. me, how, how can I keep my fish without going bad for some time? Uh, sorry by smoking, by smoking with smoking it with smoking it thank you very much 
you can meet yourself. Thank you, thank you. Aha, uh -huh. we smoke it. We shall look at the smoke. It. Asimwe, Asimwe, how are you? Asimwe, Rebecca. Oh, it seems Asimwe cannot. Asimwe. Yes, how do we? Yes. How, do, how, how can I keep my fish without getting bad? How can I keep my fish for a long time? Uh huh. Rebecca. By salting. By salting. Good. We put salt there. Good, 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 good. So those are the, some of the two answers I've gotten. Uh, let's look here. Now, why do we preserve fish? Why would you keep fish for a long period of time? For future use, because I want to use them tomorrow. I want to use them next week. So I'll have to keep them, I'll preserve them. Then two, prevent wastage. Suppose uh, you went to the lake, you found when they are selling fish cheaply, you buy 20, so you don't come and eat all of them at the same time. You keep some for next day, so you don't spoil some. So prevent uh, wastage. Some people here are putting me the answers. Teacher, Kalunji definitely said teacher by smoking. Uh, Prince Gabriel said teacher, we smoke them. Uh, okay. And another one is saying, okay, Trinity, thank you, Trinity, for being active in my lesson. Now, these are the, some of the methods we can use uh, when we are preserving what you call what? Fish. The first one, we have got some methods which we say they are modern. With modern one, we are using technology, canning and tinning. Then also, we have got refrigeration. Refrigeration is the same as deep freezing. You put them in a fridge, you freeze them, you put ice there. They can last there for very many time, very many hours, very many days, as long as the ice is still on. Then we have gotten the local methods, the ones we do at home, smoking, you see my friend there is smoking them. Uh, there is sorting. We can add salt. Or even we can put them on the sunshine and, and dry them. So, but since you knew the answers, I'd like to take you quick. You can see my friends here. Uh, these people here, they are very busy. Sunny drying. They are drying their fish. Are together? Mm -hmm. They are drying their fish. In fact, let me write it there. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, let me let me write it here. Okay. So when you see here, we can say uh, people, uh, the people uh, uh, sun drying the fish. People sun drying fish. All together. Yeah, that's one. Uh -huh. That's one there. People are sun drying the fish as you can see there. Then here, uh, we are adding salt. We are sorting it here. Here, we are adding salt in it, okay? Here, we are adding salt. This is the sorting method. This is the sorting method. As you can see, uh, you can see all of us there. That's the sorting what? Method. Uh, then there is another method here. Here, they are freezing. Because this is ice now, as you can see, uh, this is the this these are the fish, and this one is ice. So we are freezing them. So when we freeze them, uh, they are also safe. So we can say this is freezing together. So we can freeze them. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go next. Uh, this one deep frying. We fry them after frying them. They can last for some days when they have not gotten bad. I know people want to eat my fish. My fish, sorry, I will be the only one eating it. Okay, now, uh, as we end uh, our today's lesson, uh, I would like to request uh, all of us to pay attention now, because when I see here, uh, I see we have over 70 people who are on the chat. This is the project work. Although after I'll put the activity on Google Classroom, but this is the project work we are supposed to do throughout the whole weekend, 
said when you come back here on Monday, we shall be having my answers. One, what do you need? You have to have a book and a pen. Also, I request you get permission or guidance from a parent uh, or a guardian, if you will be at home, or a sister or a brother. Two, I need you to have a phone with a camera. And what are you going to do? One, must first seek a permission from your parent and visit a nearby fishmonger with your parent or guardian. A fishmonger, I've said, is a person who sells fish. You have to go nearby that person. Okay, someone is saying, teacher, why is the word fish still remain fish? Yes, the fish is fish and it does not change. Either it is in singular or it is in plural, it will remain what? Fish. So, okay. Then, after getting permission, I want you to go and uh, I want you to go and uh, I want you to go and uh, do what? I want you to go and uh, do what? Uh, you ask, you ask the what? Uh, I want you to go and you ask him to tell you where they get fish from. Where do they get them from? All together. Then two, which type of fish does she or he sell? Is it a mamba? Is it mukene? Is it a amputa? As we have talk, looked at them. Then which method does he, does she or he use to preserve? Does he salt, does he smoke, does he sell the fresh ones and others? Then ask her or him to tell you, what are the uses of fish to people? Why do we need fish? Why does she sell that fish? Then lastly, I need you to take a picture of the business Hey, I don't want you to sit home and you lie to me. You write all the answers. I want you also to take a picture. Uh, you, you tell mommy to take a picture or daddy or the person you have gone, you, 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 you have moved with, should take a picture of the business with you there. Then you send that work on Google Classroom for marking. You see, that's my activity for today. Uh -huh. And you are still on, I can see. Now, Okay, okay, so uh, if I, I don't want you to, I, I want you to have a book, write your work, after doing all that work, you send for me the what? The, after writing all my questions, you will send the work for marking in Google Classroom. All together, remember, don't forget to take your picture with the business. Don't forget to take the picture of the business. Hey, where you go, where you, when you go to the market, make sure you go to the what? To the market and uh, you go to the market and uh, do what? And you take the picture of that market where you will be, okay? It seems Ewart has something to say. So let me hear from Ewart. Uh, and lastly, uh, we shall end from here. Uh, Mumbere, can you admit yourself? Mumbele? Yes, teacher. Yeah, I see you are saying teacher in the chat. What do you want to say? I can't see the work. You're not seeing the work on your screen? Huh? Yes. Oh, what are you going to, are you, are you is, is your number in WhatsApp group? That Sorry? Mumbere? Yes. Is your work in WhatsApp group? It's on Google Classroom. You're on Google Classroom? 
Who is there? No. Who is there with you? Mumbere. Okay, seems Mumbere is just. Later, he's saying, teacher, go back to the questions. The questions are there. Can you study that? Yes, please. With the Mumbele. Yes. Mumbele is already in the WhatsApp group. Okay. In a few days, I was communicating with his dad. Yeah. And they're already in the Google Classroom, the new one. Oh. Okay. So it's okay. They will receive the work again, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mumbere. So you receive the work on WhatsApp, even receive the work on Google Classroom. The questions are still there. I've posed, but just in case, uh, just in case, uh, let me end my sharing here. And uh, I show you uh, something here. Okay, 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 okay. I want to share the wind, I think. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, in case you are not in WhatsApp group, it is simple. Uh, you go to your search engine on your screen and search for Christian, uh, Christian, uh, Christian schools. Owners Association, as you have seen mine there. When you go there, you will find uh, this folder here. Let me hope parents are following what the challenge is doing in WhatsApp group. When you go there, you'll find this one, the word there, join e-class. When you click in that one, uh, it will take you to this uh, display here. When you reach there, you'll find very many things. One, the timetable is there. So you can download the timetable, you click here, you download. Then it too, the, the links are there, which you click in and join the classes, but we have them in WhatsApp. Two, there is WhatsApp groups for every class. So you just click, for my want to join P3, you join. For my want to join P4, you join that class. Then we go on, even there are codes. If you want to join Google Classroom, the Google Classroom for P3, it is here. You click there, you will join and be able to see the work. Thank you very much. Uh, allow me uh, uh, end here. Uh, the work is going to be posted in WhatsApp group. You write every work and I'm waiting for my uh, assignment. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Michael, are you on? Yes, Mr. Didas. Anything to pass to them before we cross? Oh, we have I think I think what I can tell them is to encourage them to join our WhatsApp group. Also to keep joining the Google Classroom because the old Google Classroom right now they can see them. But uh, but uh, they are not active. We are not going to be marking work from those old Google Classrooms. So we're encouraging them to join the new Google Classrooms. And uh, this Friday, we are closing totally the old Google Classrooms. So those ones who have been waiting us from the other old Google Classrooms, they won't be able to see us. So we are going to delete them and remove them. So we're encouraging them to join our new Google Classrooms. We always post the link in the WhatsApp group. Even in the chat, I've been posting that link to join the new Google Classroom such that they can find all the work, the notes, the assignments, the activities from there. So I think that's what I want to pass on to my parents and the learners at large so they can be practicing joining the Google Classroom. Back to you, Mr. Didas. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Michael. Let me have someone to give us the prayer and I'm giving, I'm going to give a chance to someone who's in Techno A56 so I can know your name and I will name you for today. Someone in Techno, can you unmute yourself? Oh, it seems it's off again. Uh, let me give a chance to who? Okay. Hello? Hello? How are you? Fine, how are you? What's your name? Nancha Esther. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Who is this one? 
I never a bandit. Oh, you are bandit. Okay, let me change your name to bandit. You are bandit. Yes. Okay, so can you give us the prayer, the open, the closing prayer? Yes. Can you pray for us and we end our lesson? Yes, please. Okay, pray for us. Thank you. Oh dear Lord, we thank you for for for, for our day. Let us get knowledge and understanding in 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 Jesus in Jesus' name. I pray for 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 teacher to get understanding and knowledge. Let us and for for our Amen. Thank you, thank you, Benedict, for that wonderful prayer. So all of you, you can now say bye to the teacher. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.